Hey guys, Mortiman here. Welcome back to another Life is Strange gameplay. I believe this is part three. So this is right after we escaped um, that one guy who has held kidnapped the old guy, and then the really cool techie guy. I don't, I don't remember the names. I remember his name saved us. But like I said, so in the previous episode, the previous part, it was, it was way too convenient for my taste. So we'll see. Damn, this game is beautiful. Three hours later. This is my opinion. Just him coming, you know, him being a really cool guy. It was just way too convenient. Hold on, my freaking fan is ripping my audio. Very interesting. Man, the look hell! At that. Oh, is it Dan? Oregon is like the. It's Sean and Daniel, right? Hmm. God damn it! Spit it out. Hey, listen. I know what happened with you guys in Seattle. I would Do you assume. want to talk about it? I'm a good listener. It's your call. No pressure. I... I don't even know what happened. It was so fast. It was the police. It's their fault. Daniel just wanted to play zombie outside. Our shithead neighbor was picking on him. And I got in a fight. So dad came out to help. Somebody called the cops and, and they shot him. They killed my dad in front of me. One second my dad was alive. Then, I chose that option because I know for sure it wasn't my fault. What the hell could I do? Cops. Hey, it's gonna be all right. Take a deep breath. That's rough. Listen, I'm really sorry this happened to you, man. Injustice is everywhere, and you're taking the brunt of it right now. But you're gonna be okay, Sean. How? My life feels like... like that town down there. Wiped out. Destroyed. Empty. Like I have nothing. What is sure is, that's the past. But you can't look back now. You've got each other. And you have to move forward. Why? You may not see it, but what you and your brother have is the most important thing. This guy's too cool. He needs you. And you need him. I can tell he doesn't know what happened. Sean, at some point, you're gonna have to tell him. You're gonna have to, man. Like, I've been saying this like the entire time. I just have to find the right time. No, just do it. Take it from me. The sooner you can address it, the better. Yeah. I'm gonna do it next chance I get. It's just. It's not gonna be easy. Never is. So then, what's your plan? Where are you going? Good question. I was thinking... Get out of the country? Fuck it, go down to Mexico, you know? <laughs> I am retarded. I thought I was the long-haul traveler. <sighs> Shh. 
Should I go back? To Seattle? Maybe I can try and explain everything. What happened? You should do what you think is best. If going to Mexico seems like the right thing to do, then so be it. You're going in the right direction. I'm not- I can't abandon my friends. Maybe. We don't even have family in the U.S. Except for grandparents we don't see anymore. What about your mom? No. No way. She's... out of the picture. But Dad, he always talked about this plot of land he owns in this little coast town, Puerto Lobos. That's a pretty cool name. So it's gotta be great. Okay, so you've still got a long ways to go. We've shot the shit long enough. Time to hit the road. Oh my god. Yeah, I hear this music. Is this the end of the episode? Did I record this so badly? I'll drop you by a motel in a couple of hours. You guys could use some time to yourselves. Sounds like the same music from Life is Strange 1. Probably is. Like this right here definitely sounds like Life is Strange 1. So. Man, I miss Max and Chloe. Why could have been a sequel to them? Pacific Harbor, Oregon. Two hours later. So the sun was down, and then five hours later in total, it's still, damn. I'm moving time zones. Uh, interesting looking motel. Pretty affordable, if you ask me. What? <laughs> God damn it, Daniel. Okay, Mushroom, you can chase me. Then, Sean. Um, uh, no. Come, see if you can catch me. Ow! <laughs> oh, to be like a no pets allowed rule. Hey, let's play fetch with the pup. Really? Yes. <laughs> Let me do a test throw first. Cool? Well, okay. But I'm next. Okay, puppy. Go wide. Don't chuck it. Come on, Mushroom. Get it. Go, Mushroom. God, this is scaring me. I don't want to play fetch anymore. <laughs> Good doggy. Oh, he's so adorable. I think we need a frisbee. Whoa. What did you find? You just killed a shark. <laughs> you deadly mushroom. She's awesome. Showing. Sure. Now she wants me to throw the stick. Okay, here. <laughs> Watch how fast she'll get the stick. You go for it. Just don't throw it too far. I won't. I swear. I mean, I promise. Come what, are, on, mushroom. what are you Come doing? On. Look, it's a stick. Fetch. Looks like these two are getting along. It's good to see him like that. Well, I got you that room. Seriously? I... It's only a room. No big deal. Look, I had tough times when I started out. And some strangers saved my life. Thank you. Now's my turn to help someone. So you're telling it's me right this, this... Room 10. You're telling on me... The second floor. So you're telling me Listen, this plot isn't gonna thicken? This guy's just a good Samaritan? You have to be twice as careful now. I know it's easier said than done, but you should get rid of that phone. Really? You can always get a burner later. Trust me. And Sean... I'm not getting rid of my phone. Talk to Daniel. He deserves Brody, to... You're not leaving? Are you? Yes, I am, but not until Santa Brody gives you a goodbye gift. Ta-da! I, I mean, ho, ho, ho. 
And don't you dare argue about it. I'll leave it right here if you do. Okay, you win. Thanks, Brody. Feels good. Here, looks like it's yours now. As always. Not safe for work. <laughs> Hold on. Yo. I didn't forget you. I love that. I've had it since my first road trip. And it's always kept me safe. Now it's yours. Cool. I'm gonna um, say thank you. Didn't it's okay if she wears it? Like our official guard dog? <laughs> sure. It's your bandana now. <laughs> Okay. Time for me to hit the road again. Hey, don't look so sad. You can contact me on my blog, A Tribe Called West. So, you better keep me posted when you can, okay? We will. Thanks again, Brody. <laughs> ah, bro hug. <laughs> Wish you could stay with us. Me too, kid. What the hell? Why not just ride with him when I think about it? <sighs> Sorry, I'll probably think of a better goodbye when I'm on the road, but until then, take care, my dudes. I'm gonna miss him. Me too. What the hell? Why did I have the instinct? Why did I want to wave? Arcadia Bay, you see that, right? Okay. Time to hit the sack. Ah! Uh. Don't worry, Mushroom. I got you. Fifteen dollars. Fuck me. Find your hotel room. Okay. Good. Looks like the manager's asleep for the night. I shouldn't have any trouble from them. Do you think it will have Netflix or Netflix? Netflix? Dude, this is some hotel, not an Airbnb. Wait, if we're lucky, nine, it'll have cable and a hot shower. Eight, nine, ten. <laughs> it's not wrong. If you're in a motel, you're lucky you have cable and a hot shower. Ooh, check it out. It even has a bathtub. <laughs> Good. I'm gonna throw you in, cave boy. We can watch TV too. Actually, and a nice a looking falcon. motel. Whoa. On the inside, this is at least. Nice and warm. <sighs> this bed is soft. What about this one? Uh, not bad, but too far from the TV. Can I take the one in front of the TV? Huh? Want to play it over rock, paper, scissors? You can have oh, it. There's no way you can beat me, bud. Ready? I am so ready to beat you. <laughs> Aw, shoot. I told you, man. Can we play another round? Come on. A deal's hey, a deal. A deal's a deal. Sorry, little bro. You gotta accept Aww. it. Aw. Okay. Don't start pouting. Come on. I'm not. All right. I'm gonna run a bath. We totally reek. Especially you, Pidpin. <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure, cave boy. I'll call you when it's ready. Uh, I'll be right here. Of course you will. Man. Wish we still had Brody around. Brody. Has definitely Brody's. He must have forgotten it when he passed the back on. That's awesome! I need that. That's so cool. Uh, is it alright if I sit in your bed and watch TV? I swear. I'll sleep in mine after. Yeah, okay. But don't try and trick me. Oh, cool! Hot 
Solid Man is on. Ooh, Maybe a shower. I this Actually, can you go outside? It should be kind of cool. Weird. It's on so late. Track stars aren't supposed to smoke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Didn't care less now. Track stars aren't supposed to smoke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice out here. Wish I cared. Wish I cared. <laughs> oh. Lobos, Mexico. Can I get us this far? And safe? Uh, How can we get there without money? Go back home. And Daniel still doesn't know what really happened. How the fuck am I gonna tell him? Daniel. Hey. And Daniel just have to take it one step at a time. Serious bong rip right now. Grand opening. Oh my. I know he's happy to be watching TV. I don't know. Wait, is my phone working? I heard that. Oh, is it charging? You're kidding me, right? I heard that. Isn't Thanks for everything, Brody. I'll be extra careful. I don't want to read all this damn shit. Fill her up. Ugh. Yuck, Sean. It's a condom in my bag. What? Gross. Hey! Don't touch that. You ready? Aw, the episode's almost finished. Nice try. The water's hot. Come on. Yeah, okay, I'm going. I was like, wait, what the fudge? I'm gonna get a bath. What's warm? Why didn't you use soap to make bubbles? Sorry, man, I forgot to. Use as much soap as you want. It's free. Oh, everything? Cool. Yeah. Clean up good. But leave some for me, bro. I should throw my phone away while Daniel is washing. No. He'd freak out if he saw me. I don't want to get rid of my phone. I wasn't planning on getting rid of his bag, but... But like, I don't want to get rid of it. Time to say goodbye to modern life. No. This better be a decision. Or is that phone a plot armor? <sighs> Shit. Lily's freaking out. Maybe I should leave her out of this, or she'll get into trouble, too. The fuck? I'm calling her back. Sean? Hey, Lila. Sean, is that you? Do you... Sean! Oh, God. Are you okay? I guess. I'm... I'm in a motel with Daniel. <laughs> Shit, everyone's looking for you here. How about you? Are you okay? No, everything's fucked up. I'm so worried about you. 
The cops are talking to everybody at school. This is a nightmare. We're fucked. Sean, don't say that. It will be okay. I miss you so much. I miss you too. Maybe you could come back. I want to. You know I wish I could, but we can't take that risk. They're, they're gonna put me in juvie. And Daniel... Bullshit. You're innocent. And I've got your back. No matter what. No way. I'm not gonna let you get in trouble for me. Stop acting like I'm never gonna see you again. That's bullshit. I'm sorry. I totally hate this. I guess the freaking fighters are disbanded for a while. Shit actually changes, I guess. So, where are you going? Um, we're just going away for now. I'll call you if I get a chance. I miss you, Lila. Sean, wait. Fuck. Yeah, I, I would need a seat, too. Just like, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Okay. Wait. Okay, okay. And action. In here right now. What? What did I do? You forgot to open this present. <laughs> what is this? Socks? Underwear? That's it? Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? That's what I got when I was a kid. <sighs> Not funny. <laughs> yeah, it is. Dude, check out your face. Wait, what? What? There's another one here. What is it? Daniel, let me help. Looks bigger than underwear. Looks bigger than underwear. No way. Can't believe it. The new Playbots? Thank you, Santa. Hey, don't look at me. You were a good boy this year. <laughs> yeah. Lucky boy. Daniel, this is for the whole family too, right? So you gotta share with me. <laughs> I wanna play that game uh, where you steal cars and go on high-speed pursuit. No, don't throw the phone. Don't do it. There should be another choice. Don't throw it. No. Ah! <sighs> okay. Don't think about it. Just tell Daniel the truth. Are you kidding me? Remember that song? Come on, dance! Man, I I can't dance right now. My legs are thrashed. Sorry. You're no fun. Daniel, uh, come here. We need to talk. Can we get a drink first? I'm thirsty. Right now? You said I could have a Coke. Or something. Okay, I'll get you a soda. But when I come back, we're going to talk. Serious. Fine. What's the big deal? First, do I get a soda from? Forty-five dollars. Thought we had like fifteen. Daniel. Oh fuck! Oh my god, Daniel. What What's the? Happening? Daniel, 
Calm down! You lied! Dad! Your dad is dead! Why? Why did you turn on TV for permission? Calm down, Daniel. Let's just talk, please. You knew dad was dead! You knew it! Why? Why did you lie to me? I didn't even lie to you! I just wanted to protect you until I could- Protect me from what? You? I- I hate you! What the? You're not my brother! You're the one who did it! Daniel, chill out, okay? Get away from me! What the fuck? I hate you! Shh! Don't touch me! Daniel, please! It's okay. <laughs> what the fuck? I want that. <sighs> Me too. <laughs> now we're about to get kicked out because of your dumbass. <laughs> told me we were gonna see dad. What? I did. I'm sorry. I just... Just don't lie to me ever again. The fuck if you were gonna do that? <laughs> ever. I promise I won't lie to you again. I promise. <laughs> I'm serious, Sean. I know. You better not do it again before I dark phoenix you. Me too, Danny. And take it out. Oh now? my god, his hand. Shh. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Am I a monster? Nothing is wrong with you. Bullshit. You're different. Okay. What are we gonna do now? I was thinking maybe we could go to Puerto Lobos. No. Where dad grew up, you know? Yeah, I guess. Dad left there for a reason. <laughs> It'll be fine, Daniel. There's nothing we can't do. As long as we're together. Except buy a soda. Can you tell me a story? Like of, he did? of how you killed dad? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's messed up. <laughs> I'm not as good as him. He used to tell me bedtime stories too. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home there with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together. were alone. The story is whack. <laughs> and they had to find a new home. They started a journey to the great big world.
I'm about to say it's about to be a little bit too convenient that only two people on a bus. But there's like five other people, so, you know. Just flips the bus over. Alright, still got a bloody nose from when he got kicked in the freaking face! be continued. Episode 1, Rails. I have you know, I already went ahead of time, and I already bought episode 2. So, I'm ahead of the game. No, I'm not, I'm behind, but I went I went out of my way and um bought the, bought the game. Can I skip this? Toggles, speed. Yeah, because there might be like, I wonder if they did like in Life is Strange 1 where they do a little previews or whatever for the next episode. I would assume so. God damn, it's hurting my eyes, but we got to get through it. See, I don't want to exit because I don't want to risk skipping the preview, but I don't think that would happen. But I'm sure it's just the case. Huh. Okay, this is hurting my eyes. Ah, oh, snap. You kept the... You guys were messed up after that amazing story. You told the truth to Esteban. You hugged Esteban. You didn't take money from the jar. I didn't even know there was a jar there. You confronted Brett. You questioned... Okay, so I wasn't... Okay, okay, I wasn't left out. We're good, we're good, we're good. You and 43% uh, of players, you didn't still... You decided to still... In the parking lot. Oh. Damn. You didn't beg for food. You sent Daniel to bed. You beg for food. You stole from the gas station. You stole while Daniel distracted the doors. You did a study thing. Of course. You ran away with Daniel. You hit Hank and stole the camping gear. Hmm. That doesn't seem that bad of a choice. Now that I think about it. Call out the back, of course. Promise Daniel. You won't lie to him again. Of course. He said, I'll try to be honest. Fuck, fuck you, 9%. Daniel learned about trailblazing. What the? Daniel fell and got dirty. Daniel didn't fall in the woods. Damn it. Daniel built a fort in the forest. And you fetched the woods for the fire. Daniel won the wood race. Daniel didn't do the wood race. Daniel lost. And you learn how to skip stones. And you did learn how to skip stones. Did you? Did you? Did you? Mm-hmm. Did you had okay? Did was afraid of your stories at night. Oh fudge! You guys are mean. Then you didn't have to beg. Then you had to beg. Then you distracted yours. Then you didn't distract yours. Then you had enough. Then you didn't eat enough. Damn. Then you didn't get a power bear toy. Oh, then you stole like Brody. Then you didn't steal. Anything good, man. I think I don't even have any friends that play this. Yep, I got no one to compare with. It's okay. All right, come on, man. Focus. The fudge in the snow. Okay, trust me, you can do it. You see, there's an entire freaking avalanche just come. <laughs> That'd be awesome. All right, 
Thank you guys so much for watching this Life is Strange 2 episode 1, Think Roads. You know, episode says episode 2 and 3 are available. So, guess what? I'm going to play episode 2 for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode 1. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys check out my other Life is Strange videos. And, uh, bye bye. Maybe I should call ICE to make sure you're a citizen. Fuck you, hillbilly. I'm American. Mm. What the Watch it, just kicks his head? Whatever. He took like, like a jail for this. Took like, like a 